Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms Furious Wild DLC. The 190 start date as sure, sure. So, we have a little bit of money. We're going to get another Lord's Chest because we can. And I'm going to hire Zhang Liao. He was with Kong Rong. We don't know if he still is. But I'm going to try. I don't think there's anyone there that I particularly want. Lu Bu was with Tao Tao. Hmm. Don't want him. And so he's gained Lord's Chest. So Zhang Liao is going to be a little bit pissed off. Because we don't have anything uh, position wise for him. Um, but I'm going to bring him in. I'm going to give him this as well for the authority. We don't have a better weapon. He's got his fa fancy armor. He's got Resolve of the Righteous. He's got Roar of the Beast. Hasn't got Elephant res uh, uh, Adamant Resolve. Bravery and everything else he's got. They've sat him up all right, actually. And we're going to give him a title. Immune to Scaring. Earth Dragon. That would be good. General Commander. It's a lot of satisfaction. He's not an official. Is he a protector of the army? General of the front, perhaps? Um, enables terror. Ooh, that's a nice one. Um, here. You're expensive. It's fine. You're worth it. He is worth it. He is, was, one of the finest generals of the time. Um, if you look at his achievements, the battles he fought, uh, the actions he won in greater campaigns, like uh, his cavalry charge that broke the spine of the Wuhan tribes united against Cao Cao, for example, you know, outnumbered, not even by like a little bit outnumbered. I mean, like a handful of men versus 100,000. There was a few thousand versus 100,000. Uh, and Zhang Liao was the man who led the cavalry charge um, for those of you who want to know more about it, have a look for my White Wolf Mountain um, animated history video. Zhang Liao was the man who led the cavalry charge, and he destroyed the Wuhan in that charge. Later on, the uh, uh, Tao Chun and the uh, Tiger and Leopard cavalry finished the job. Xu Huang as well held his ground fantastically, because Xu Huang is another phenomenal commander of the time. Zhang Liao was a monster. Siege of Hefei, of course, he fought that. He led uh, another battle in the same area. He led 800 men uh, to defend against the entire army of Sun Quan, 40,000 odd men. And he almost, in a separate occasion as well, he almost captured Sun Quan uh, with a small group, basically his own bodyguards versus Sun Quan's army. Like he was an incredibly talented field commander, incredibly talented field commander. I would place him just on his achievements and his ability. He is above anyone else of the period. And I include any one of Liu Bei's boys that are fa more famous. Uh, like Zhao Yun, like Wei Yan, like well, Wei Yan probably isn't more famous. Like um, Guan Yu Zhang Fei, definitely better than them. Definitely better than them. You have comparable battles for what they achieved. Um, he was definitely above them in terms of uh, tactical brilliance. And actually strategic brilliance as well because of some of his negotiation skills and being able to win over and force whole uh, areas to subject themselves to Cao Cao without having to fight a single battle. He was brilliant. Anyway, enough of my gushing. We're bringing him in. Um, we're bringing him in and I think we're going to prepare ourselves to raise an army up here. So at Trup B, where are you, Zhang Yao? All right, you're a little bit expensive. We'll hold off for a second. Um, you just have Jama Jian. You have the camp crushers. Lu Bu would be good. He has heavy... T oh. But he's such a prat, though. That's the problem. Ah, anyway. It's fine. Now let's have a look here. We, I think, it's time to say we could do with some food. So we'll bring that in for some food. Um... How are we doing? Mulu is here. Reinforcing. Let's go. Take 
more of Lady Wu's territory. Ooh, Guan Ning. See, I would happily bring you in, but uh, you're not interested. So here we are, Shifang Lang. Uh, yep, get some of that. Good man. Uh, they all need repairing. Definitely do with the food. There is more to. A character ranks gained, command secured, occupation, blah 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 blah. Down here. Oh, you already have the mods. Alright, fine. You don't need it. Um, what we could do though is give you this. Slightly better armor. I have a white horse for a commander that used to belong to. Yeah, shoot. But now it will belong to you. Here you are. Well done. Right. That's all good. We're all uh, looking fantastic on this front. Now on the old active spies front, who do we have? You're in Chupan's territory. Yeah. Deploy. Just so we can keep an eye on what's going on here. Can't have Chupan causing me trouble too. You. Ooh, military revolt. Military army. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You will soon be able to do some damage for us. It will be magnificent. Everything else is going really well. We smashed their armies here. You're going to reform. You're holding that. We're going to go together and take out Guangling. You're going to take up Kwai Ji here, you're going to take up Kwai Ji there, and that will all be ours. Then we just need to deal with Suo Jue, which hopefully our boy here will be able to deal with by himself. Now, before we do anything else, I just need to have a look. You don't do anything for me. You don't do anything for me. You do. You very much do. So you are in charge. There. You're in charge. That will work nicely. Shamokka is advancing. That's going to attack Sordure from behind. Okay. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Next turn. Ah. Hanjong has been taken, which means I can rush Shukwang. That would be very hard for Shukwang to take out by himself, actually, thinking about it. It would still be really good, though. It would be really good. Let's see if Mathieu's army moves out. If Mathieu's army moves out, I will advance in. Because if I can take it, then I just need to buy some territory off the Bay, who might be willing to sell. He doesn't love me like he used to. Oh, this man, this man is a hero. I wish that you could give out titles to uh, vassals. I would make him like the Earth Dragon or something. You know, one of those titles where he gets immune to fear and terror because he faced down an army by himself. It was incredible. I've never seen the AI do that. It's very rare that you see like a commander without any soldiers anyway. Uh, yeah, denied. Denied. Seize the future! A scholar joins your faction, asking for an audience with you. Making no disrespect, he tactfully explains that though his previous lord was lacking leadership qualities, he was in possession of advancements that have thus evaded your faction. He suggests that there are many useful reforms available to those brave enough to embrace them, and states that he recognises this courage in you. You thank him for his counsel, and now consider which ideas to take forward as your own. You've gained a scholar. Good, young Xiu. Uh... Yeah, you just stay doing this stuff. Um, buildings. Trade. Damn. Tian Kai is available, though. I do like Tian Kai. Scholar. For you. Um, right. Doesn't look like he's shifting. 
a shame. Doesn't look like he's shifting at all. We won't be able to take it out unless he does shift. Uh, you advance here. One more turn, then we'll advance to Kwaiji. You shift here, same deal. One more turn. Ah, uh, they have one guy there. Nice. Now we know where he is. Shift. Over here. You are going to take a turn or so. Um, fishing port or trading port? We probably want a trading port, actually. We have still no one else we can bloody trade with. Confederate. Nobody's interested. Trade vassal. An empire. Now, were we to... It's minus 18 now. I don't really have enough food to make that worthwhile. But that would be so good. Matt here wants peace. Go shit deal. Hmm. No. We're not getting anything from that, unfortunately. Not getting a thing. You're advancing here, you're advancing there. Mulu is doing his thing. Can't give out any bloody land to my vassals, which is a shame. Really wish I could. I want Yang Feng to be a player. I want Dong Tuna to have some more land. They would do so well. Shamoke is advancing here. He has finally shown up. Just out of range. He is starting to die. Okay. Let's do it. Go on, run away. I got you now. I have you now. Oh, we can do a night battle. That would be quite fun. Do a night battle and let's fight this. Get our new army, Shuguan, up and running. He's got two vanguards. We've got a champion and a vanguard. We've got a lot of axes. Do you like my axes? Uh, good cavalry as well. This army's not bad. Low level generals, but this army's not bad. Their army is shocking. We should eat them. I've got more spears than I would normally like, but you know, that's what happens when you've got a champion with you. Uh, right, everybody back. Um, set you here. Uh, no, no, set you here. Slide angle. Drop some fire here. Drop one of these things here. Now, I would like one, two, three, four, and I want you in a spear wall. There, I know it's rare for me to use a spear wall. You chaps. Turtle up, flank. Turtle up, flank. No turtle, back. And no turtle at the back. One, two, three, four. No running away. Form up here. You and you, boom. Good. You're going to be there. You're at the front. You're at the front. Cav, 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 cav. Up here. There we go. Let's go. Throw some rocks. As many rocks as you can throw. If you please. Sword jet. Okay. I have no weapons on any of my guys. We're lower level. No dueling. I think we'll just fight this as fair as we can pretend to fight. Cavalry. You're going to come way up here. Way, way up. Go set fire to this, if you don't mind. Come on. Yeah, it's a night battle, they will. Good man, back here, back here. There we go. You're now going to get shot. We've got fire happening there, which is going to affect your morale. All the archers in the world shooting at you. You form up here on this flank. You and you, get ready. 
You, 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 and you. I always forget. Get ready. Okay. Ready yourselves on this flank. Archer's doing a cracking job. You and you. Back here. Right. Ready. Set. Go. Ready. Set. Go. You, you. Keep going. <clears throat> this G militia is a minor irritation. Kill him. Kill, 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 kill. You, you. Bring him down. You can hold against that. That's why you're there. Charge. All right. They're in the way. Come round. Get them. You move round. Keep moving round. Smashed. Absolutely smashed. Yeah, it does. It really does. They don't stand a chance in hell. One smash. Go. Kill. You. Guard mode off. Go kill them. You. Focus him. You. Focus him. Nicely done. Nice smash. Off you go. Don't need you chasing them. You. Away. And go kill. Ride, 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 ride. Uh, yeah. Break away from that. Into this fight. Okay, this cavalry unit here is in trouble. Rush away. Away, 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 away. You, if you don't mind, can come back over here. Ride. Ride, ride, ride. Uh, focus on them. They'll die. They'll die. You're coming back. You're going to chase him off the field. They're going to run away. This cavalry will deal with them. You guys break and forward. Nice. Yes, Shuguan will deal with Cheng Gong Ying. You're going to chase them off. You chaps going to advance as well. See if we can get rid of this G militia. Nice job. Swing around. Let's get rid of that saber. Make sure they don't come back. Yeah. Not surprised. Chase him down. She's going to run soon too. You need to chase him down. Make sure he doesn't come back. Um, Good job. Nice battle. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. Decisive victory. So that's their army smashed. Now we can advance. They're not going to be able to fund another big army, realistically. They only have the two provinces and their vassals. They're giving away a huge percentage of their income. Unfortunately, they didn't have any weapons. There's no chance of me gaining any weapons from this. Not that I've been gaining any bloody weapons anyway. Chongyun. Horrible, tough, feared, impeccable, honest. Ah, uh, yeah. Come join me. I'll have a vanguard. You have some levels up. Ah, uh, yes, please. And you. Yes, please. Let's move across. Good on you, everyone. Good on you. Right. Now it's time. Now hi. Let's go. We want Nan Hai. Excellent. Um yeah, you're all fine up here. Shindu. Throw that up. That will be a fight. That will be a fight. Yeah. We're alright. We're looking good. He is getting stronger very quickly. We're not going to make it to him in time. Okay. So Taltar is launching a big counterattack against Kongrong by the looks of things. But he's lost his kingdom. He's more powerful than Kongrong. Kongrong sort of stole a little bit of land. I don't know why Taltar would want his capital 
there anyway, but he had his capital over there. <sighs> Tong Pu is still alive. Wow. Interesting. Sun Shao, still alive too. Uh, period victory. Yeah. That'll do. Point is just to win. We're in our own territory. Uh, Sun Shao, off you pop. Take the replenishment. Yeah, he's going to bugger off now. He's done for. No. Not enough. Not enough money. And I can still potentially take Hanjong. Though I don't know how to yet. I'm going to back at base. Miju is doing his thing. And full cleared war. Shout. Good. Rivals. Eh. Assignments come back. Character elements Chong Ying is available. Magnificent. Um, so, Proot, you. We could do with probably a couple of those here on this front. Um, say, Yang Ro is not the best move by me. Here, there, good, not quite. You on the water. You off the water. Not quite. <laughs> um, yeah, you boys can be there. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're going to replenish here. You're going to push on. Because that will fall very, very... Wow. Wasn't expecting you. Wait, yeah, you're back. Okay. So some nobodies. We'll deal with them very, very quickly. Um, down here, advance. Do you know what? Advance faster than that. Advance. Good, you'll be in position soon. This army is looking healthier and healthier. Hmm. No, too far away from that happening. Aggression pack is just disappearing. Matt here definitely wants it, but it can't give me what I want. Shu Han, we're giving food away. You can sod off. We don't need that. Tata King of Chi. Don't like me. You do, though. Oh, Mulu. Uh. Select target. Come down here. Also, don't know Yang Fong. Okay, you guys are all all right. We're gonna bring out a trader's chest just because. All right. Next turn. Meng Huo seems to be intent on being really super aggressive with his northern expansion. Sort of impresses me that he beat me north of the Yangtze River. Xiao Hong, extract! Ah, ah, ah. Close defeat. Really? Really, really? Hmm. Uh, let's retreat back. You want to try again? You're welcome. Right. This is more like it. Uh, and we have to delegate it because we're on the sea. We're going to smash him. We're going to lose a lot of men, though. It's a sea battle. He's been beaten. He's coming back. He's going to fall back to the capital, which is fine. 
Uh, pull back. We're not going to fight the garrison at the same time. Yeah. Good man. You're stupid. Okay. So this is going to be a little bit tough. But only because of him. Jiang Qin. I have to fight this cleverly. Because they'll do a lot of damage to us. Hell of a lot of damage to us. Um... His army's not very good. It's just those generals. Those generals will carry a lot of punch, though. So we've got to defeat his army. And then basically force them to rout. Shouldn't be too challenging. I say. Um, right, they're attacking me. I can fall back. Yeah. Back here, doom. Okay. Now I want... This. Here. I'd like some of that there. I'd like one of you over here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Shields here. Uh, spear here. Here and here. Two, three, four, five, six. Shunk. Cross. So lots of arrows coming in. Um. Two, three, four. I'm gonna have my cab over here waiting in ambush. You, you, and you are all gonna be sort of here. Um oh. Didn't click on you. Then we have you to hold this flank here. Shield wall. Excellent. Come to me. You want to attack? You have to fight me here. Jiang Qin. Shi Feng Long. Could I beat Jiang Qin? Probably. Probably, yes. And he may want to duel me too. Got some cool things here which can knock down their melee evasion and the rest. So, let's see what happens when we get close. Shi Feng Long. He's not really a duelist. Not really. And they have a lot more health. It would be risky. But it would tie down one of their guys that could wreck my soldiers. 41k though. Almost double my health. Hmm. Shift over here. Hide. You chaps. Uh, yeah, they can see my cavalry. That's fine. They're welcome to. Go on, shift over here now, boys. Going all the way around the back. Archers, you're in. You fall back here. You fall back here. You fall back here. <clears throat> Actually. All right, you want to charge them first? You're welcome. All right, back down over here, boys. Charge. Charge, charge, charge. They have died a death there. All right, you. Jiang Qin. See if we can take him out. Tu An. Drop your thing. You shift over here too. And drop your thing. Right. Nah. Here. Here. You guys are going to crush into their flank. Hopefully finish them off. Go, 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 go. Break, 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 break. And not breaking. This cavalry charge is not working well. Go on, roll around this side. Come on, my man. Good. Chase that mercenary infantry off. Feng Lang has won that rather quickly. Excellent. Good man. Yeah. Form around here. We'll deal with them. You. Wait. Come on. Over here. 
over here. Uh, go kill them. In you go. You and you. In you go. Go deal with them. Charge. Advance. Advance. Right, we're smashing them up over there. We've got him here. This is pretty much game over now. Pretty much. Right, you got him. You come over here. You're chasing them. You come over here. You, you, and you. Chase him. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Smash. Tell you what. Grab him. Come for a flank. John, you don't need to be in this formation anymore. Hurry up. Yeah, so did I. But, you know, you can't get everything you want. In you go, chaps. You and you. Chase him down. Chase him down. To an Grab. Kill. Maim. Destroy. You're chasing them. Game over, surely. They can't have anyone else. Not now. There we go. Easy. Very easy. Don't know why they said Valiant Defeat. I mean, I know they give waiting to their generals, but you just don't duel. Um, unless you're 100% certain you're going to win. I had a look at his stats. Knew we'd be able to take him out quickly with Shifeng Lang. I just left Wei Jie, who of course charged straight into some of my hardest boys on the field. Took a beating. Two of their generals are dead. Gained the ancillary, we captured Wei Jie. I would like you. Punishment. Good. He's running. We're going to take that territory. I might have to shift Yan Rol down here. Shu Feng, I'd say yes. Uh, sorry, Zhang Feng, I'd say yes. But, uh, Cao Cao doesn't like people. We've been betrayed before. Liu Biao and Yuan Shu both betrayed us. He was a bit of taste. He's he's worried. And to be honest, as far as coalitions go, we're not exactly the best of friends. We've barely fought on the same side in any wars. Chahong, finest armor. Give me a pissing weapon. Chahong is back. Army reports. And Siri's gained defenders leather, though. That's not too bad. War coordination is done. Let ours quickly decide to give you this instead. No followers for you, unfortunately. Um, yep. All the way. And here. Kill. Oh, I can't quite make it. That's a shame. You're replenishing here. Yeah, roll. Uh, I would like you, actually, to come down here. You. Uh, Zhou Tai. Fight. Take. Nice man. Uh, you can shift here. Jotai, who's gone up? Aha! We might be able to make you useful. Very soon. Not quite yet, unfortunately. Bam, 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 bam. Traits gain, character ranks gain. Excellent. Wang Ling has been taken. Throw in one of those. Yeah, we just need to smash him there. Okay, that means we can now at Chu beat. Raise, where is he? Where is my man? Here he is, Jiang Liao. Good man. In you drop. Um, oh, you can get Xiliang Cavalry. Uh, well, well, oh, you can get Camp Crushers. Oh, yes, this army is going to be scary. I'll tell you what. Let's just disband all of these dribblers we get some more cash at the end turn and then next turn we will recruit you an army 
worthy of your name. They're going to be epic. Um, we're going to recruit one now, though. And that's going to be some camp crushers. Awesome. Over here. Uh, we can't. Yes, 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 yes. Go. Go, 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 go. Go really bloody quickly. Go. Oh, we're not going to make it in time. He's going to take it. Is he at war with Martyr? I think he is. He is. He's going to take it. Shit. That's such a shame. That is really such a shame. Uh, but, Patsy, how much would you give me for... Uh, Badon Churen? 19, eh? 19. It's quite a lot. I can't reach that right now. Anyway, we'll think about that. But that's for next time. Uh, next episode, we are going to continue finishing off Wu. And we're going to continue finishing off Sword Duet. Then we're going to see if we can get to Hanjong before Gongdu, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, we can see if we can buy this of him a little bit, at least. Uh, but yeah. Uh, then the other thing is to build up an army for Zhang Liao. That is a main aim. Because when we have an army here, then we have our borders protected and we can focus at least on the eastern front um, in case of a war. Fantastic. Right. That's all for next time. See you then. Bye-bye.